My name is Joe Good, and I'm here tonight um, with my lovely company from San Francisco. But I always like to come out a little ahead of time and say hello and tell you a little bit about what you're going to see. You will see um, two pieces. Uh, the first piece, 29 Effeminate Gestures, is a piece, a solo that I made for myself. 1987. Um, I was only 12. Um, so someone else is going to do it for you tonight. But it's a it's 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 made in voyage, in that it's never been done by anyone but me uh, before. So we're we're trying that out. It's kind of backed by popular demand. We, we got a lovely grant from the National Endowment for the Arts to resurrect, yes. To resurrect or reconstruct or reconstrue or something, a major American masterpiece. So now I am Agnes DeMille. And it feels good. Um, I also like to, you know, try to see you and relate to you a little bit because when we're on tour, as we are now, we go to a lot of cities and we see a lot of people, or we don't see a lot of people, but they see us. And it can be a little faceless and alienating. And, um, and I like to sort of see who you are, know something about your city. I just learned a fun fact backstage, our stagehand B told me that the reason you're called Hoosiers is because there are so many French Indian people in, in Indiana and, and when someone would knock on the door they say, Hoosier. Did I say that right? <laughs> it's supposed to be a joke. Um, <laughs> but I also, um, uh, and so to tell you that there's no intermission. The first piece happens, it's very short, and then there's just a little cleanup, and then we go on to the second piece. <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> they may not be laughing later, no. Um, but I also like to sing a song in every city, because no one has stopped me. Is <laughs> Probably the real reason, and um, and I have to amuse myself. I, I haven't met Peyton Manning, so I have to sing a song. I was hoping he would show up, but um, this is a song. I know that 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 this was at one time, you know, corn country farmland. I don't have a farming song. I'm sorry. I have a cowboy song though, so I'll sing that one for you. And these, this, the language of this song comes from a John Wayne movie called Red River. And in this movie, some young starlet, I don't remember who she is, but she, she's trying to get John to stop all of his gunslinging and fighting for righteousness and to just relax and stay at home. And so I took, the, I took those words, and my friend Beth Custer and I wrote this song. <clears throat> it goes like this. I decided last night I just want to be with you I know you gotta do what you gotta do But I'm asking you to stay here Stay put here with me I won't be much trouble uh -uh. You can have a life uh -uh. We can have a good life Together stay here Stay put here with me Because you're friendly, verse number two Why'd you have to keep on 
hating and killing? Is it just cause you're right? Well, I'm right too. I'm right for you. Stay here. Stay put here with me. I won't be much trouble. <laughs> we can have a life. <laughs> we can have a good life together. Stay here. Stay put here with me. Stay here. Stay put here with me. Thank you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a good, 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 good. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a good, 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 good. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a good, 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 He's a good guy. He, 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 he's a good guy. He's a good, 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 good. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He, he's a good guy. He's a good, 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 good. He's a good guy. 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 He's he's a good guy. Hey. He's a good guy, he's a good, 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 good. Twenty-nine effeminate gestures.
If you talk too much, if you laugh too much, if you feel too much, if you react too much, if you think too much, if you gesticulate too much, if you are excited by too much, if you enjoy the aesthetic of too much.
Okay, the world is out there. I know that. And as long as I don't move from my place here at the window, I can see it all. I mean, I can feel it. The church bells tintinabulating. They crash through me. The big, sturdy branch over there, so... Uh, the way the brown wall changes in the sun. A reddish brown. And then greenish brown. And then black. I feel that, and it feels fine. I mean, it's good. It's perfect. It makes me ache. It's so perfect. There's plenty to see here, and I tell you what. If I could do anything, and there are days when I feel I could do anything, I would just frame the world. By frame, by frame, I would send each frame out into the world, wrapped as a gift.
each moment wonderful to see. I'm full of wonder about this. Wow, full of wonder about this. My first impression was that the stranger's eyes were of an unusually light blue. They met mine for several blank seconds, vacant, unmistakably scared, startled, and innocently naughty. They half reminded me of an incident I couldn't quite place. They were the eyes of a schoolboy, surprised in the act of breaking one of the rules. Not that I had caught him, apparently, at anything, except his own thoughts. Perhaps he imagined I could read them, for he started violently at the sound of my voice, and instinctively, I took a pace backwards. I ache. I see a boy in his untucked, rumpled beauty, and I ache. I fall like a leaf falls in its exquisite indirectness. I I can't.
be shattered by what I see and feel. The potency, the pull of the sadness, the terrible humanness. <laughs> Oh. Okay. You might think I'm fragile. You might say he's awfully vulnerable, susceptible to all sorts of manipulation. I would say, don't worry about me. I have not been mishandled. My parents were too busy mishandling each other to notice me much. I have been left happily alone to watch this ferocious parade of life pass in front of me. <laughs> You might think 
I'm fragile. No. You might say he's awfully vulnerable. <clears throat> susceptible to all sorts of injury. And pain. I would say don't. Something so precious, so real, so flesh and blood. Your laugh is a real laugh, and you vibrate with the possibility of real action. I wouldn't dare to get near you. Wouldn't dare get close enough to touch you. <gasps> I would be incinerated, wouldn't I? If I dared to touch you. Your boyish heat would scorch me. Send me down in flames. <gasps> wouldn't it? Wouldn't it?
My first impression was that the stranger's eyes were of an unusually light blue. They met mine for several blank seconds, vacant, unmistakably scared, startled, and innocently naughty. Perhaps he imagined I could read them. It was exactly as though we had collided into each other, bodily, on the street. We were both confused, both ready to be apologetic. Smiling, anxious to reassure him, I repeated my question. I wonder, sir, if you could let me have a match. The snail pushes through a green night, for the grass is heavy with water and meets over the bright path he makes, where rain has darkened the earth's dark. He moves in a wood of desire, pale antlers barely stirring as he hunts. I cannot tell what power is at work, drenched there with purpose, knowing nothing. What is a snail's fury? All I think is that if later I parted the blades above the tunnel and saw the thin trail of broken white across litter, I would never have imagined the slow passion to that deliberate progress. I wonder why you never get it right. Never get it a bit right. You just get it wrong. Something is wrong. So wrong. Like something in a terrible dream. I wonder why. I wonder why. Something I can't bear to see. So cruel and ugly. Why? It makes me ashamed somehow. I didn't know you were that kind of guy. I thought you were nice, a nice guy. I didn't think you'd be like the others. So awful, like something in a... Why do you do that? You know I'm not that kind of a girl. Can't we just talk? Can't we just have a conversation? Tell me something about yourself. Oh, 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 oh. what am I seeing? Oh. oh, oh, don't do that. It makes me... It makes me ashamed somehow. Oh, oh. no, oh, please, no, stop. Don't. Oh. So, oh. Oh. Something I can't bear to see. <laughs>
Arm Holder, Sado Might, Weakling Bummer Boy, Poof, Poof, Gender Bender, Gender Bender, Corn Holder, You Corn Holder, T W I N K, Twink, Sado Might, Sa Sa Do Do, Might, 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 Might. Peter Pepper Fag Fudge Packer Fag Fudge Packer Pillow Biter Fear is one of the greatest problems of life. A mind that is caught in fear lives in confusion and therefore must be in conflict, must be violent and aggressive. We are all afraid of something of not having enough food or money, of not being a success, of being despised or ridiculed. Fear of pain or disease, of domination, of not being loved, or never knowing what love is. Don't misunderstand me. I am afraid of everything. Everything. No. 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 Of everything. Of everything. Of everything. The world breaks me. The world me. breaks me. <laughs> It, it breaks me. Breaks me. And, after, and after becoming broken, becoming broken. So, so, so many times, so many times, I am brittle. I am brittle. I am, am brittle. I wear my fear. Like a big song. Like a big song. It says, broken here. Many times. Go, go. Not because I can't take it. <laughs> Clearly, Clearly, I can take I can it. Take it. <laughs> but, but I just get tired. Just get tired. I get tired. I get tired. 
something I imagined. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm right here. I didn't think this could ever happen. I mean, I always thought I would just watch you from far away and wish to be near you. I didn't think... What? I didn't think I would really touch you and know you. I didn't think I could do that. You can, really. You can do lots of things. I can? You can see people and feel the way they feel, even if they're sad or mean or self-centered. You see beyond that stuff. You see the beauty. I sure do. And that's pretty great. I'm great. You're great. You're pretty exceptional. What, me? Exceptional. What is so special about him? He's, He's sensitive. sensitive. What? I'm sensitive. <laughs> and that's great. Pretty great.
Okay. The world is out there. I know that. And I don't have to just watch it from my window. I mean, I can feel it. It's so simple. It's like a cloud that floats by, and I can jump on it. Jump inside of it. These are my moments. The strong tree outside my window. The wall that changes colors. All mine. And if I could put a frame around what I see, the way I see it, and send it out into the world, it would be something. I would be something. I wouldn't be real or normal, but I would be great. Yes. I would be flying. Yes. I would be so high. I would be up on top of the world. Woohoo! Great.